Hi, in this video I want to show you one of my mathematics books. It's called Elementary Linear Algebra with Applications by Yacoub and Moore. Nice book. Let's open it up and take a look at what this book covers. So this is a book that you can use to learn linear algebra. Elementary Linear Algebra with Applications. Copyright 1980, reprinted with corrections, August 81. That was a long time ago. Let's look at the contents. Systems of linear equations and matrices. Determinants. So it starts with something that's really, really familiar, which I think is good um, because it's not really going to deter people. You know, if someone starts from the very beginning of the book, like you could start... Uh, you know, anyone could start with this. Most people could. If you knew some algebra, you could jump in and learn about linear equations and the algebra of matrices. And then determinants. Then vector spaces. And then real inner product spaces. Linear transformations. Eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and quadratic forms. Quadric surfaces, other applications, so directed graphs, communication networks, regular Markov chains, absorbing Markov chains. Answers, page three to seven. Let me show you that. So this is one of the good things about this book is that you get answers. And when I mean answers, I mean answers. And if it's a proof, it'll give you like something significant or meaningful or helpful. So very nice. So you have it for the odd numbered exercises. So not all of them, but it's better than just like selected exercises. And you see, they try to explain or at least give key ideas and hints for um, the proofs if there are proofs. So it's quite nice, quite nice. Tons of pages of these answers slash solutions for the odd numbered exercises. It's really good. It's really, really good. So linear algebra is something that um, you could learn as long as you know some, some basic math. I mean, look how it starts. It starts with the very basic stuff. Let's take a look at it. Elementary ideas, systems of linear equations. This is the first, first chapter. And there's a system of equations, and they solve it, and they talk about solving it, talk about the solutions, and tries to explain things in terms of the geometry. You have some lines. Then you have three variables and three equations. They go through, and then they try to generalize everything here. Talk about echelon form. Someone took a highlighter to the book. That was not me. Yeah. Nice. I mean, so this is, and then you could you could work these out, and I mean, you could do you could probably do some of these like number seven, solve the systems of equations by substitution. So that's that's one that I think a lot of people could do, although it's probably easier with addition. You can just add x plus y equals four, two x minus y equals eleven, right? Um, just adding, you would get three x equals fifteen. So x is five. So that would be pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of exercises too. Look at that, 42, 44 problems. So that, that's quite a bit, right? That is a ton of exercises uh, in just the first section. So, and then you have answers to half of them. That's, that's awesome. Let's, let's just check. Um, you know, not all sections are gonna have the same number of exercises, but even this one, look at this one, 1 1.2. Look at all of these problems. I mean, it's just crazy. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That looks intense. Wow. That's a lot of variables. Just a lot to a lot to write. Basic matrix operations. So you have matrix multiplication. Oh yeah, matrix multiplication. That's what this is about. Mm-hmm. 
Matrix multiplication is one of those topics you, you learn in other classes. I learned it in an algebra class. But it's, so if, so if you already know it and you, you pick up a book like this, you're revisiting it, which I think makes it pretty cool. The product matrix, AB, you know, it tells you how to get the, uh, the entries. Algebra of matrices. Hmm. Subspaces, this is where it gets really fun and cool. There's a lot of fun proofs you can do with um, subspaces. I have a few videos uh, of proofs here on the channel, uh, linear algebra proofs with subspaces. Yeah, here we go. Here's a fun little problem. Determine which of the following are subspaces of the indicated vector space. All vectors in R3 of the form 0, 0, alpha. Cool. Let's see, let's see if that's a subspace of R3. Is it? So you have to go through and check all of these. Some of them will be, some of them won't be. And it's nice you have answers. Um, it'd be great if you had answers to all of them, but the fact that you have answers to the odd ones would, would really help, and especially in examples like this, because they can tell you like, oh, it's not a subspace because, or, you know, so it, it really, really helps to have more than just a numerical answer. And that's what this book does have. It has more than just the numerical answers. Determine whether or not the given vector x is an L of s for the given set of vectors s. If it is, write it as a linear combination of the vectors of s. Cool. Hmm. Bases and dimension. Row rank and column rank. Yeah, linear algebra. So this is a book that beginners can use, but at the same time I feel like there's a lot of mathematics in here, which makes this also a pretty decent reference. Um, there's a lot of topics in here um, that, you know, if you, if you took a course with this book in a college, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't cover all this material. Now, I don't even know if this book is still like in existence. I don't know anything about it. Uh, like, I don't know if it's still available or not. Uh, as soon as I post this video, I will look and I will try to find it on the internet. And if I can find it, I will put a link in the description. I don't know if it's still in print or if it's out of print, if it's inexpensive. Sometimes these books are like really cheap or like five, ten dollars. Sometimes they're like non-existent and sometimes they're expensive. So, but this one's probably not that expensive. Yeah, I don't think it's a very, I don't think it's a very well-known book. I don't know though. It could be, it could be wrong. Could be wrong. Eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and quadratic forms. You know, quadratic forms. Just gotta give it a whiff. I just gotta smell it. Oh, smells so good. Nice. Mathematics. Anyways, just wanted to show you this book. It's on linear algebra. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.